Do you know that Excel has more than 300 keyboard shortcuts? That's right. But you don't need a majority of them to get work done in Excel. So in this video, I'm going to show you my most favorite and absolutely essential shortcuts to get things done quickly in Excel. Let's go. These shortcuts are broken into five segments. General working of data, formatting your data, copy pasting your data, using formulas and creating charts. So the first section is general working of data. Here I have got some employee data for our awesome chocolates business. And as you can see, while the data is all there, it is in a very clumsy format. I can't even read most of the columns and some rows have inconsistent spacing. So the first shortcut is talk about how to handle data like this in the raw formats. We can quickly adjust all column widths so that we can read the data correctly. You can click on column A and then drag your mouse to select all the columns and then place your cursor anywhere in the middle and double click to auto fit the columns. You could also apply the same technique for rows, but many times what happens is your data might be too long and selecting rows like this can be hard. Here is another shortcut. You can place your cursor in one of the cells and then use the shift space bar to select the entire row and then hold down control shift and down arrow key to select the entire data. That way we not only grabbed all the data, but all the rows. Now you can place your cursor between any two rows and double click to quickly auto fit all the rows to the contents. So now that I can read the information correctly, let's talk about how to select some of the additional columns here. To go from anywhere in the data to the topmost cell, you can hold down the control and use the up arrow and if needed the left arrow key and that will take you to the very corner here. Alternatively, you can also click on Control and the Home key to go to the top left corner of your data. To select an entire column, you can hold down the Control and Shift keys and use the arrow key, down arrow key in this case, to select an entire column. To select an entire row, you can hold down Control Shift and use the right arrow or the left arrow keys to select the data in that direction. But if you want to select all your data, you can just press Ctrl A. A for all and all of your data is grabbed. Let's conclude this with a bonus trick. Let's say you want to have the salary column all the way at the end. To do this, first up, select the entire column. You can directly click on the column header to select that entire column and then press and hold the shift key and click on the edge of the bar here this boundary and drag and drop it at the end. This will reshuffle the columns and move the salary to the end while keeping everything intact. Our next segment is about formatting the data. So now that all of our data is in a neat shape, let's go ahead and apply some formatting. I can see that the date of join doesn't have a proper date formatting. You can select all the values. Again, the shortcut is control shift down arrow and then press the shortcut control shift number three. Three is for date formatting and you will get a consistent date format supplied on the data. Let's do the same for salary, but this time apply the currency formatting. To do that, you can hold down control shift and arrow keys to select the entire column and then press control dollar or control shift four to apply the default currency formatting as per your computer. But many times when you have data like this, you may also want to apply some special formatting for the headers and maybe highlight every other row in a different color. This is also called as zebra shading. To do all of these in one go, just select any one cell in your data and press Ctrl T, T for table, to apply tabular formatting to your data. Excel will ask you where your data is, and it will also ask you if your data has headers. As in this case, we do have headers. I'm gonna click OK and boom, all the formatting is done in one go. You'll get consistent header formatting in a different color. Every other row is in a different color so we can read this data better. Excel even applies the filters for us so we can quickly narrow down the data 
to a specific data point that we are interested in. And if you don't like the blue color, you can go to the table design ribbon. This will only appear when you are inside the table. So if I'm outside, I don't have the table design ribbon, but when I'm inside, I'll see that. And from the table design ribbon, I can change the color to a different color that I like. Let's go with this one. Fancy. I do have one other formatting shortcut, but I'm going to talk about that when I'm explaining the charting part. So stay tuned for that. Our next segment is about copy pasting. Let's say for some analysis, you want to grab these salary values and paste them elsewhere. You can use the shortcuts Ctrl C and Ctrl V to paste. But what happens is Excel not only pastes the values, but it also pastes the formatting. Maybe you don't want the formatting, you just want the values. In that case, what we can do is after copying, go to the place where you want to paste the values and use the shortcut Control Shift V. That's going to give you just the underlying values. This is an excellent shortcut if you have some values that are generated through formulas or some other means and you just want to grab the value and nothing else. Here is an extra shortcut that got added into Excel recently. Let us say you are looking at these salary values and you wanted to know what the total is or what the average is for these people. We can look at the values in the status bar. But recently Microsoft updated Excel so that whatever value you're looking in the status bar, if you click on it, that value gets copied into your clipboard. So now I can go to a different place such as a Word document or an email that I'm composing and paste the value by right clicking and using the paste option there. This value 50,230 is the average of all the salaries that I selected on the screen as shown by my status bar. Now for a second, imagine you have another worksheet either in this workbook or in a separate Excel file that has a similar data. And what we want is we want to copy this formatting style over to that other file. You can just select the rows here, control C to copy and go to the other place, right click on the top left cell and go to paste special formatting. This is going to copy paste that formatting over here. In fact, I do this so many times that there is actually a shortcut for this that I use often. The shortcut is after you copy, you select the top left cell and then press Alt E S T. This is a keyboard shortcut sequence. So you just hold Alt and E first and then let go of your Alt key and then press S T and then enter and ta-da, the formatting gets copied. You could also use the format painter feature on the home ribbon to do the same thing. Let's conclude this copy pasting shortcuts with a very useful trick. Let's say you copied some data from somewhere else, maybe a web page or something. Now, even though they are numbers for Excel, they appear as text. So that means when I select these values, I'm not able to see any sums or averages in the status bar. I could only see the count. Even when I try to format, you can see that no matter what the formatting code is, the number looks the same, indicating that Excel thinks these are text values. Here is one handy shortcut that we can use to convert all these text values into number format just like that. The shortcut is really simple. Just select any blank cell in your workbook, Control C to copy. Now select your data and right click, go to paste special. Using the paste special, I'm gonna change the operation to add. What this does is it will try to add the blank cell to these selected values. Now, as the blank cell contains zero, when it tries to add, it will first convert these values into numbers and then it will add. So let's see what happens when you click OK. Ta-da! All of these are now treated as numbers. How awesome is this? This segment talks about shortcuts for writing better and faster formulas. Let's say you have got some salaries here and you're trying to calculate bonus for your employees. So you want to know what the bonus would be for 2%, 4%, etc. 
To calculate this, of course, you know Excel, so you take this value times this with that value and you hit enter. So for the first employee, the bonus is $1026. But as we would like to drag this formula down, first up, we need to lock this to the 2%. So you can go to the D2 cell and then change the reference to D$2. You can either manually type this dollar or you can use the shortcut F4. So hold down the function key F4 and keep pressing it a couple of times until you see the D$2 style. You can use the F4 shortcut to cycle between different options of the reference styles. And now you want to fill this down all the way. You can either drag this or here is my favorite shortcut. Just select the cell, go to the very corner and when your mouse pointer changes into that plus colored icon, double click and boom, the formula gets filled down all the way. Now let's drag this to the side and I see incorrect results. This is because we only locked the E$2, we forgot to lock it to the column C here. So I'm going to go here and change this reference style by again pressing the F4 key to $C3. Now I can fill this and drag it to the side, select all these columns and double click to change the column widths in one go. Here is a bonus trick. This is not really a shortcut, but this is actually an improved behavior in Excel. And for this, I'll need to make a copy of this bonus calculator so that I can show it to you. To copy a worksheet, you can hold down the control key, select the worksheet and drag and drop it elsewhere in your file. This is going to create a copy of that worksheet with everything as is. For this second trick, I'm going to delete all the calculations. And now I want to calculate all these combinations in one go. Do you know that with Excel 365, you don't have to write individual formulas. You can write batch formulas using a special behavior called dynamic arrays. So I'll go here. I'll select that in this cell. I want the multiplication that is equal to that range times these bonus values. And when you hit enter, you're going to get bonus values for all combinations in one go. This is made possible using the dynamic array functionality of Excel. It automatically adjusts the references and calculates the relevant bonus for every employee at every bonus percentage. How awesome is this? Our final segment deals with formatting and working with charts. So here I have got a chart and while I kind of like it, I don't like the colors. So I want to change the colors of the columns. To format any element of the chart, just select it and press Ctrl-1 to open the format options for that. Ctrl-1 is a universal shortcut. And I like these kind of shortcuts because it's one shortcut, I can use it anywhere. So whatever you select, if you're working with a chart, you can use Ctrl-1 to format the chart. Whereas if you're working with the data, you can select the data and press Ctrl-1 to open the formatted cells dialog. So one shortcut works everywhere. And once you are here, you can use your mouse to change all the formatting options. So maybe you don't like the blue color. Let's go with this nice green color. And while we are here, let's adjust the gap width from 219% to 50%. What about the access formatting? I want to see a dollar symbol here. Do you know that if you select your original data and apply the formatting there, so maybe control shift four on this, it will not only add the dollars here, but also to the chart. So you don't need to format in two places, just format your data right and your charts will fall in place. Let us say you like this chart, but you want the size to be uniform. You can resize the chart by placing your cursor in the corner and resizing it like that. But while resizing, if you hold down the Alt key, it will automatically snap to the workbook grid. This is a powerful way to get perfect alignment every time you're working with your charts. So hold down that Alt key when you're moving or resizing charts or any other objects in Excel. 
Okay, I'm happy with this chart, but I do have another chart further down in the workbook. And I want to have similar formatting for this one as well. You don't have to repeat all the steps. Just select the first chart, Control C to copy it. And we are going to use a hidden feature in Excel to apply the formatting for the second one. Select the second chart and then press Alt E, S and T. It's the same sequence that we used earlier to copy paste formatting, but it works on charts too. When you click OK, the second chart will get all the formatting as per the first chart. So same colors, same column widths and all of those things. I saved the best trick for the last. In order to help you do even more with Excel and be awesome at your work, I've got a PDF with 35 of the most useful Excel productivity tricks and it's free. Click on the link in the video description below and grab it today. I'll see you there. And here is a playlist with all my favorite Excel tips and tricks. Do check it out to learn something else. Bye-bye.